Hello guys, this is Warrior here, and we are back with another Total War Western Roman Empire campaign episode. Uh, in the last one, we lost this settlement, but we knew we were going to do that. We also, if I pan over here, we are retaking Africa. Africa. We've taken all the way down here. We took Sabetra. Now I'm thinking about either pushing on and retaking this or pushing south. I may regroup and push here. Strike here, sack that, and then move this away and sack this, and then go there. That would take away a large part of their bastions, their recruitment centers. Uh, but we do need to heal up quite a lot before we make that adventure. Here, this fleet is moved into position, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get them into the port and see exactly what they're going to do. If they attack me... That would benefit me because I would get a little bit of the garrison and the auto resolve, which is nice. Mm, that's okay. That's fine too. Uh, let's go back up here. Um, why are y'all at minus nine? Hmm, I really don't know why it's at minus nine. That's interesting. But anyways, I'm also recording this video uh, while actually dealing with That's a stomach on. bug that has actually kept me from work. But I was feeling like a little bit better knows. today and decided, you know what, why don't we uh, record something, at least have something productive out of this. So I'm going to do a night attack. We... We will only be dealing with this. Now, these are dramatic Spearmasters. With that in case, that means they will have some negative buffs, which will help us out. There's some pre made breaches. What is this? Okay. And oh, that's just telling me my buffs and bonuses to this legion itself. Huh. Alright, um, I think we're ready to launch our assault. Let me see the terrain real quick. Augustus Vidalium. I'm forgetting the layout of the battle map. If it'll load for me pretty quickly. If not, we'll just go ahead and fight it. I'm not looking at the battle map. Here it is. Okay. Alright. So it's going to have a center little square, little piece. I need to concentrate along one wall and then push in in two directions. All right, let's fight it. So yes, that's what I'm dealing with right now as I'm dealing with a stomach bug. So there might be some pauses in this recording where I uh, pause the recording to uh, bid adieu and take my next um, adventure on the porcelain throne. Definitely. It has not been fun. I had a fever yesterday and the day before it's kept me from work I was able to work through the day but started feeling worse and worse and then the stomach portion hit and it's been oh it's been it's not been fun at all oh, not been fun at all it's been downright terrible I actually had COVID last year around the same time and I actually would prefer COVID over this but you know it is what it is. Luckily, my uh, our baby girl has not gotten it, which that would that would not be good for a three-month-old to get this. Not at all. My wife has also not gotten it, so that's also good. And if the person who originally exposed this to me, if if she if she had it, she would already have showed symptoms and been uh, dealing with this. Which is uh, good that she's uh, does not have it. All right, so let's start deploying it. All right. So all these towers over here are destroyed. 
So I need to focus my assault in here. Stay away from those towers. Yeah, because that shows you the firing range that they have. So I need to get up and through here and literally focus all of my assault. Yeah, they can shoot over here. Through this little section, this one main corridor, and defend here. Here and here. So a very... It'll be a slog. It'll take a while. But it will... Minimize casualties, I think. Alright, you get over here. It's also a first night battle. Where are they at? Minus two for the defenders. We can always put this fire on and set some more fires throughout. Which we probably will do at the beginning. And just on time, I'm going to have to bid y'all adieu before I actually start this. You will not actually know this, it'll run smoothly because I'll fix it in editing, but uh, I'm just getting all this arranged. Nope. There we go. You will actually be tagged in with the infantry. Okay, we are back. Sorry about that. You will not see it, but uh, any of dealing with a stomach bug, that's all I'm going to say. Alright, we should be okay. So let's go here. Let's rush you up. Let's rush you up. Let's rush you up as well. Is that gate busted open? It is. So we're gonna go there as well. Step shield dashes! Yep. Switch riders at the ground! Here. You get here. Everybody up. General! Yeah, that will be definitely be helpful. Step shield dashes! You can you not fire on you can fire at that though can you do you have a spit no you're not a reader so you can't actually burn things back a little bit Javelins at them. Should not end very well for them. Hit the slingers. That's okay. I'll fight you in a missile duel. Especially since you're going against javelins. Who are literally shredding you. Hit him with fire. not going to go well for you. Why are they? Oop, that's on fire. So if that starts to spread, which it could, all these fire arrows will eventually start a fire. And when it does, oh yeah, that's burning. Hopefully that catches that on fire. If that catches that on fire, the slingers have just been completely obliterated here. If we can get them to break, that would be even better. Go after that Germanic Pike unit. That's actually a decent armored piercing unit. Come on, us. Hello. Fire here. 
good amount of ammunition, so we're gonna use it to the best of our abilities. You keep it up. Oh, get back, get back. You get your fuzzy butt back. Uh, I don't know why you thought you could do that. Move up. Throwing javelins. What are you doing, Germanic nobles? So, move you over here and kill you that way. Alright, then. To take in this first initial crossing. Move. Run out of you three. We can trap these guys here. That would be. Stop using fire. Go there if you can. Yes, come on, men flee the field of battle. That's okay. Shameful display. About to crush these guys, and then move in here and crush all this, and then take the center capture point. You. Winning in certain areas and losing in others. Yes, 
move. Crush that unit. Yes, Equites Del Monte. You keep saying that over and over again, it's highly annoying in this gun. Move, get some arrows in. Should be crushing these guys now. Run in. Keep them. Back. Destroy that barricade if you can. Won't take too long. We'll eventually have that down. They are trapped. They eventually will start falling. We are doing better now. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. We just we're attacking the gate. That's hilarious. <clears throat> it's not exactly what I wanted, but it'll work. Shut down this tower. There we go. That's my tower has been destroyed. This bodes well. I think they just have that unit. They do. How are we doing? Yep, I figured you'll be using that. Also charging into the Let's go, let's go, let's go. That general is dead. So that helps out. Why are these guys not breaking the enemies? You two go deal with that tower. Morale starting to shatter. There's only eight of them. And these are their most elite units, though. So they're going to hold out for a long time. Oh, this is their upgraded unit. The um, Bejeweled Retinue, or whatever they're called. 116. Oh, that is 116. This doesn't look like 116. Alright. We have destroyed the enemy tower! Let's go, let's get them, boys. They all are better than them. Oof. That 
was a slugfest. Look at all of these bodies. Let's just look at this carnage. Oof. On the ramparts through here where we won the missile battle because they tried to use slingers. If, if they had been smart, they would have put slingers up here and hit us this way. And then I'd had to rush forward quicker. But I was able to basically just shower them with arrows. I mean, look at that. 251, 197. 150 for the Federal Arctic Spill, that's not 187, 163. Commander. Ready for battle. Hear us, Lord! For God himself! Commander. Ah, I'm us, Lord. stuck, but if they try to attack... Okay, that makes sense. Ah, now down here... Ajax, there's really nothing I can do about that. I guess the only thing I can do now is intern and see what happens. We need to deal with Hispania. They eventually could get uppity and force my hand in this area. I'm getting s some public order again, getting that up. So I'm trying to get these regions under control. You look like you're yes. about to rebel. You'll probably rebel here at Burgundy, that's fine. Regretta. Burgundy, Burgundy. These two need to be phased out for some of our regular troops. Expensive. Commander. And you're retraining. Yep. Alright, so you actually need to go to there. So you can go over here. Yep. Alright, so anybody that I can trade with? Ooh, I can trade with them. Greetings! Now speak plainly. at war with you for a long time, but now you're okay with it. Whatever. It's like I defeat one foe and another one says, well, now I'm ready to have a crack. <sighs> I'm slowly dwindling them down. The Malians, I think, just suffered a defeat that they should not be able to recover from, and I should be able to escape and get back into that settlement. Lango Bards, you are... Yep, wisely doing that. Jutes, y'all are just doing a little jute shuffle over there. Oh, hello. That's not particularly good. At all. Yikes. Alright. So they're all attacking... ...from the sea. The only hope I would have, I don't have a ramming ship, would be to fight them on the sea. I do have one artillery ship. But it's going to be sniped out early. Those are some full stacked legions. Probably shouldn't have went in there. Probably should have vacated. I don't know why they're attacking me there. They should have attacked me at the other location. I guess I know that other location's stronger, so they're going to attack me at my weak point. The Scalmation campaign is going to be... troublesome. And will probably require more attention than what I have currently to defeat them. Especially considering I'm fighting three enemies. This is a very difficult campaign. I have not lost this campaign by any stretch of imagination. Even if I lost all of Italy, the campaign still wouldn't be over. It would take a long, long, long time to grind a player down if you do it right. Really, if I wanted to, I could abandon Africa completely 
but then they could strike anywhere they wanted to. So it's probably not the best of ideas. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to hold that center little bastion there, which that's an interesting. Oh, this is a hydrotum. Awesome. This is actually better for uh, what I need to do, which is just to hold out as long as possible. If I had an actual uh, full strength army here, it would be interesting to try and dislodge me. That is for sure. If my fleet and army were to pair up, I could, pr well, maybe. It'd be, it'd be close. All right, you, all of y'all, you go here. That is, yeah, there. So we're going to land here at this beach and here and move into the city that way. All right. And you'll go there. You'll go there. You or have a solo mission along with you do as much damage as possible. Distract. Do what you can. Ooh, that was a good hit. The enemy outnumbers us. The enemy draws near. I know they outnumber us. Orders on one of our ships. Repel them. Three of y'all, move, 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 move. They have a little barricade right here. At speed. You can literally hold the this center little plaza with almost nothing. Uh, you here. It's not going to be good, because if that hits, that's their general. That could see their general dead if they're not careful. Are they going to fire again? Oh, they are. That's going to be hilarious if a general dies because of their incompetence. Oh, funny. All right. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. We'll force them that way.
halt what you're doing and fire at them. That's going to be very problematic here in a second. Yep, there, yep. You pinned, and now you're getting shot in the side with arrows. Is that other Desert Chieftain? That's another one. And that's Camel Warriors. I honestly don't know if you thought this was a great idea. Let's YOLO our cavalry, and it always works. Now we're about to throw them the javelin to their backs. Here, I'm just trying to inflict as much damage as possible. I'm outnumbered by 10 to 1. <coughs> Fighting them on the beach would have... Look at that. They're... Wavering casualty sustained. Just, that's just... Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're about to retake. So he just died. You cease fire. Kill this guy. Which that should see this force. you were full strength because if you were full strength we could actually probably do quite a lot of damage to them yeah you back them up fire at them you stop doing that Buffed up to 31. 33, 64. We're actually better than those engineers. About 300. A unit has used all available ammunition. They're within range, start throwing your javelins at them. There we go, throw a few at them. It's not going to do very much, but. It's actually a great little settlement for holding if you want to hold out against very large numbers. Uh, this little settlement's actually really good because you can bottleneck them here, hold them here, strike out, do a few things. You can do a lot of stuff. Here, if I really wanted to do something, since this flank is protected and they're all trickling in from this direction, I could siphon these three units out and attack them from the rear. Like I want to what I'm about to do. Put this one in it. And this one. The tower has been destroyed. Yeah, the towers are actually doing more damage than anything else. That tower right there has probably racked up a bunch of kills. Let's get off the boat and shooting them. <coughs> oh, it is actually. Side. 
goes in for the slap and route. Debuff. Come on, throw. I'm getting a few kills. Best hope I have is to uh, <laughs> is, is to instill a morale building. Now this shows you how long this this battle will last. Cause it'll last a long time. Men have given up and are running for their lives. Like I'm even gonna fast forward. We've already been in here for 14 minutes. The longer this battle goes, the more of them die. Oh. This is really what playing on the harder difficulties is about, is maximizing how many of them you kill versus what you get. So if I lose 500, so I got 599 many. They've lost, they're approaching 600. That's what they're approaching of this flank guarded by one unit. Commander losing hope. Mainly inflicting damage upon their spears. If they would have just kept fighting here, I could have kept drip feeding units in. This is a shameful display. So we've probably come across at even terms. All when everything's said and done. Yep. Army losses are now. The men are broken and running for their lives. Army losses are starting to mount up. This unit is wavering because army losses. Got a little rain here. Oof. Nothing remains of this unit now. These two added in. They're fleeing. They're holding in because of the general, and now they Not too bad, considering they lost 637. I did kill one of their generals, though. Which, that doesn't sound like much, but that does help. That means one of their better generals is now out of the fight. They've retaken my supply lines, which is going to force me back. They won't have enough movement range to also attack, so I'm going to have to get around them and escape back to Carthage. The thing is, is, do they take it? Because if they take it, that's going to that's gonna hurt me more if they don't take it. Oh, they didn't take it. Alright. So I'm actually going to pull back. And see what that, see what they do there. I'm going to do that and then call the episode. You could say, well, that's kind of a needless thing. And, uh, it is to a point, and I could have fought that battle and not recorded it, that little portion, and then moved on. But doing stuff like that will actually help you in your campaigns. And that's in any Total War campaign. You sometimes have to fight those battles to inflict casualties on upon the enemy. Hello. I don't think you understand this. Alright, so we're going to start here on the next episode. So this has been Wayne here. I hope you enjoyed the episode in its entirety.